Today on Passion for Food, I'll show you how to make these amazing mini apple pies in a cupcake pan. These are perfect for those moments where you're like, I want to eat an entire apple pie, but I shouldn't. Well, now you can. And the best part is just how quick and easy these are to make. We're going to be using this amazing no-roll shortbread crust, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, let's peel back the hood a moment so we can talk about our apples. Now, I know there are some hardcore apple pie fans out there that will tell you it must be Granny Smith apples. But I'll be honest with you guys, whatever apple is on sale, that's the apple I usually pick. And these were actually Gala apples, which we just want to quickly peel and use our ninja skills to slice those in half. And I always try and seed this idea wherever I can. The easy way to remove an apple core, just with a spoon like this. You just want to go around the core, and you can basically just pop that whole thing out. And then we can just use the edge of our spoon just to clean up those little bits on the end like that. I find not only is this quicker, but you wind up retaining a lot more of the original apple than the old, you know, cut the four sides off and throw out the whole middle routine. So we'll just go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Okay, now that we have our apples peeled and cored, we want to go ahead and give these a rough chop. Now, with relatively small apples like this, you're going to want about one apple per two mini apple pies. I wound up using nine here just to make sure I had enough and I had a little of the filling left over but that's no big deal because I own a spoon. Now that we have our apples sorted out we want to go ahead and sweeten this with about a half a cup of sugar along with one teaspoon of cloves and a full tablespoon of cinnamon. And we are essentially making little tarts here so let's raise the acidity with the juice of two lemons. Now, to avoid the dreaded, crunchy, undercooked apples, we are going to cook this filling for just a couple of minutes. Basically, we just want to cook it over medium-high heat until all the sugar dissolves. But we don't want to overcook this either. Once that sugar's dissolved, we can go ahead and add about two tablespoons of flour. That will help give our mini apple pies that ooey-gooey goodness that we all love. We just want to cook that for another minute or two, and then that's it. Our apple pie filling is ready. Just set that aside to cool. And we'll go ahead and make this amazingly easy shortbread crust. It's super simple. All we need is one cup of flour, one fourth cup of sugar, one super carefully measured teaspoon of vanilla extract, an enthusiastic dash of cinnamon, and half a cup of salted butter. If you're using unsalted, just add a pinch of salt. So we'll just get all of that mixed together, and that's it. I mean, that just couldn't be easier for a short crust pastry. So we'll go ahead and whisk that off to our muffin tin and get filling here. And this is a good time to make a good impression with your pressing. Although there's really no secret to this, we just want to press out our short crust pastry into our cupcake tin. Try and make them relatively even. I like to make sure I have the sides just right, and then I'll fill in the bottom with a little extra if necessary. That's the beautiful thing about using this moldable short crust pastry. We're not having to roll anything out and keep it just perfect. We're just forming it with our hands, nice and easy-like. And now it's time for pie filling, literally. You want about a third to a fourth of a cup of this apple pie filling per little mini apple pie. Essentially, we want as much of the filling in there as we can physically get in there. In fact, you really want those apples mounded up because they're gonna sink down a little bit as they cool. So if we have them leveled out in the beginning here, we're gonna wind up with concave pies and nobody likes concave pies. So now that we've had that fulfilling experience, let's go ahead and make an easy strudel topping for these. And to make that, I'm going to use one teaspoon of molasses along with a half a cup of sugar. Now you could just use brown sugar instead. That's the exact same thing. To that, we're going to add six tablespoons of melted salted butter. Again, just add a pinch of salt if you're using unsalted. We'll just give that a quick little pre-mix, and then we're going to add one and one-half cups of all-purpose flour. 
along with one more enthusiastic dash of cinnamon. Yes, I put cinnamon into all three layers of my uh, mini apple pie. I thought I'd see if I could work this together just with a spoon, but ultimately I had to switch to my hands, and I suggest you just start there. We just want to combine this until we have a nice sandy texture, just like this. Now, normally I would tell you folks a quick strudel joke, but it was just too crummy. Okay, okay. Topical humor aside, we just want to get these all covered in our beautiful strudel topping. At which point, we simply want to bake these in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown and your house smells amazing. At which point, we'll pull these beautiful mini apple pies out. And here's the hardest part of this recipe. Once these come out of the oven, we have to let them sit and cool completely. Once cooled, though, they pop out of those little muffin tins surprisingly easy, just with a little knife inserted down around the side. But that's it. Our mini apple pies are ready to serve. And if we really want to up the wow factor on these, add just a little bit of glaze. All that is is confectioner sugar and a tiny bit of milk. And pro tip, if you make a full pan of these, they freeze extremely well, so we can just pop the leftovers in the freezer and have mini apple pies on demand. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Passion for Food. If you have, give me a thumbs up below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss our future videos. And check out one of our other great recipes playing up on the screen now. This has been Graham with passion for food.